So you leave, and uh, let's start with the most important thing. No one knows how to throw a whipped cream pie anymore. It's a, it's a disaster. The art form is dead. I heard John Neese was doing a pretty good job of it. I, I, not, I, think, I, saw her, I think I saw earlier in the year he was uh, taking over the duties and, uh, you know, whatever. So I think some people hated it, some people loved it, but, uh, you know, we'll leave that in New York and, uh, you know. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I don't have any pie duties here. Let's say that. This is. Uh, this got to be so cool for you, an LA kid growing up, and here you're playing for the Dodgers. Yeah, it's it's definitely nice to be at home. Uh, this is my first summer I'll get to spend in LA in about 13 years. So uh, I'm excited playing for a hometown team. I'm in my backyard. My family loves it. They get the opportunity to come to a lot more games. Uh, my friends are enjoying it. Get to see a little bit more of them. So uh, really, it's it's kind of been. Uh, you know, a blessing in disguise, you know, what happened here last year. Yeah, you got a lot of good opportunities here, and you did well with it. What, what do you take, finally, from your time playing here? Oh, man, I, I have so many great friendships that I developed over the last three and a half years here. Uh, you know, this was one of the, the series on the schedule that as soon as I signed with the Dodgers, I looked for it, I circled on the calendar, and... Uh, couldn't wait to get back out here and see the guys. I went and had dinner the other night with uh, with David and Nice and, and Dylan and Bobby. You know, just coming back and seeing everyone, it, it, it's really been, uh, I don't know, I, I guess uplifting, you know, from from the grind of the season, you know. You play with a lot of big personalities in this team. You've got a big personality, but there are a lot of personalities in that room. What is the room like? Matching personalities, matching egos, quite frankly. How does it all work in the clubhouse? Well, I'll tell you what, there's never a dull moment in there. You know, <laughs> if it's not one guy, it's the next. And the one thing about this team is they know how to have fun. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, if, if you ever put the, the camera in the dugout during a game, you know, it's it's laid back in here. Guys are laughing. Guys are, you know, poking fun at each other, hitting guys in the back of the head, you know, throwing ice at each other. I mean, if, if you can think of it, it's probably happening in the dugout. So, uh, it, it's been a blast. It, we have fun, and, and uh, you know, it's it's really is a great clubhouse. Granky going tonight, who has been utterly fantastic. What's it like playing behind him? Man, he. There's a couple guys in here who I'd call true professionals, and he's he's definitely at the top of the list. He is one of the smartest guys I've been around. I've only been around him for a short period of time. He knows exactly what he wants to do. He knows what hitters are trying to do. Uh, he knows where he wants his infielders playing. He knows where he wants his outfielders playing against certain guys. And it's just uh, the amount of detail he puts into every start is uh, it's it's really neat to watch and, and to and to sit back and watch him prepare and, and watch him go about a bit, his business and. I think the even cooler thing is the four days he's not throwing, getting to sit on the bench and, and talking to him. And yeah. uh, he, he really is an intelligent guy, and just talking baseball with him is pretty fun. Justin, great catching up. Good seeing you. Best of luck. Always a pleasure, Kev.